Time to play with some clay. Well, this is what I'm going to be playing with. Um, I started this buffalo. It's got to be at least five years ago. And uh, I was making the hair texture on the uh, back part of the uh, front part of the horse. I mean, horse. <laughs> buffalo. And uh, with a rock. And I got to see if I can find my rock because I want I still have the uh, texture to do on this side. It doesn't have a real strong armature. It's only got a wooden dowel holding up the whole thing, and that's a heavy uh, piece of clay right there. And it's had some damage over the years. Uh, like you can see on that hip, uh, this horn here has been smashed, but I can fix all that. A buffalo's age can be told, told by the shape of their horn and uh, this is an old buffalo and uh, he doesn't move very fast uh, he lops along and uh, it's a male buffalo I've got the tail to do and the first buffalo I ever did I screwed up the tail I uh <laughs> I gave I, I started out doing a longhorn steer and put the tail of a longhorn steer on the uh the steer, and uh, when I changed it over to a buffalo, um, I forgot to uh, change out the uh, tail, and it ended up in bronze. So the first uh, people to buy the bronze uh, got a peculiar bronze with a <laughs> longhorn tail on it. And uh, anyway, uh but anyway, I don't know how much I'll get to today because I'm starting real late. I took uh, yesterday and did a bunch of things I had to do. And uh, today is just uh, starting out at about 4.30 in the afternoon. I should have started early this morning. So anyway, I'll be right back. Well, I found the rock. I had it on my shelf over here. I found this out in front of my house one time about five years ago, and uh, I used it to uh, give me a texture that I couldn't get with any other tool that I had. And uh, I'm going to have to soften up the clay a little bit. Well, I don't know. All right, I, I'm using the uh, rough edge of this front edge of this rock uh, that broke. And uh, I'm using it to just give me the texture that I want. I had to refigure out how I did it, and this is the way I was doing it before. If I'm going to have one texture on one side, I got to have the same texture on this side. That gives a pretty good texture on it. It's amazing some tools that you find in sculpting that have no business of being a tool. <laughs> anyway. I'll keep, I'll come back when I get a little further along. All right, I've set up my uh, sculpting stand. 
I had it sitting at the center of the uh, sculpt sculpting stand. It is a revolving sculpting stand, but quite honestly, this works out better with the uh, little turntable that I've used with a Lazy Susan underneath it. And uh, this way I can work on it closer to me instead of reaching across the table. Um, the older I get, <laughs> the less my eyesight. Anyway, uh, anyway, I just it just brings it closer to me. It makes it easier for me to check the texture I've got on this side compared to this side. And uh, I've got some long hair to put on to the uh, buffalo's uh, foreleg. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. There won't be a lot of musculature showing because they tend to be pretty fat and well fed unless it's you know after winter and then they uh you know they pretty much have to scrounge through winter I, i've gone through to yellowstone park which is only about 80 miles from here and uh after in the springtime uh you'll after winter you will uh see dead buffalo uh, laying out in the fields because they just didn't make it through the winter and uh it's a sad thing to see, but uh, that's what nature does. It sends out its own herds. But uh, it's a tough, tough existence. These, that's why they're built the way they are. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, figure out what I'm going to do. And uh, I'm not going to be able to do much today because I need to get my research material again on the buffalo. And... Uh, I'm going to uh, go through that tonight. Yeah, over the years, a clay will have a tendency to, to gather damage, and it's just a matter of fixing it again. That's the nice thing about plastiline clay. You don't have to worry about it drying out on you. It will develop a surface because the oils in the clay have a tendency to... Uh, dissipate, evaporate, um, and it's just a matter of uh, heating up the clay to bring the oils from underneath up to the surface, and then the clay is back to what it was before. At least that's my experience with working with plastiline over the years. Anyway, I'm just going to put some texture into the bo body because I don't want it smooth. I want it to be sculptural. And the reason for that is because if I do a rust patina on this, the rougher the surface, the more textured it is, the more interesting the uh, patina will be. And you, you sort of have to think about what kind of finish you're going to put on a clay uh, to give it a particular finish in bronze if you're doing bronze and uh it's just one of those things you have to think about another thing you have to think about is the uh balance of the piece and the weight of the bronze i did a silver buffalo years ago it was cast in 99.999% silver. And I had him standing on all four legs. And it still bent. Because of the softness of silver. But this one, I've got to make sure I've got three points of contact. I got one there, there, and there. And I could put another one right there. And for bronze, that would be enough to make it unbendable. You don't want it leaning over over the years. You want it to be the way you sculpted it. And so 
that's why I'm trying to have it contact the ground as often as I can. And, uh, or wherever I can. I gotta redo those hoofs a little bit. But, uh, anyway, I'll, uh, add a little more texture and, uh, come back. Well, this is as far as I'm gonna get today. I'm, uh, afraid I'm gonna have to call it quits. Um, I'll pick this up next time. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be tomorrow. I just got to do some research before I uh, get back into this heavy duty. I want to check the uh, muscle structures and all that stuff. And uh, go through my photographs that I've taken of Buffalo over the years. And uh, videos and stuff like that. But uh, I thought of ha adding a calf to it which would change the sex of the buffalo to a uh, cow, which would also change the uh, the horns a little bit. And uh, I've got to decide whether to do that or not. I love this buffalo, man. It really did turn out better than I thought it was going to ever turn out. I just lost the vision. As time went by, you can see the texture of the fur is a little different on this side than it is on this side. And I've got to work that out. I think I probably put little lumps of clay in there. And uh, just to make it smoother looking, not quite so rough. But I don't know, I've got to work on that. All right, everybody, have a great night and I'll see you next time. Good night like and a subscribe and ring the little bell also don't forget i have instructional videos available now online the link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos later everybody good night